It's New Year's Day, and instead of the bright, sunny day we were supposed to have, it's raining. And this puts me in mind of my whole drainage issue. What am I going to do about my cistern? So maybe you can help. So, from what I can determine, three of the downspouts actually are directed to the cistern. The downspout on the end of the garage, that side, actually empties across the drive and down. It looks like it dumps right down here. There's so much water going down here. There's so much erosion. All of these maple trees, their roots are exposed, and I feel I, I need about 10 truckloads of wood chips because if I bring in dirt the dirt's just going to wash down too This building's on a slant, so it's a little hazardous. Oh yeah, that's ripping down through there. Let's put some light on the subject. Okay, I don't like the looks of this. These spiders, or egg sacs, or whatever they are. It's just super dark. I do see a light, but I don't know how to turn it on. It's a big, long building. How do you turn that thing on? Oh, it's got a little chain there. Here's those spiders. Ugh. There's a lot of rotted wood around the door. The door doesn't close well. Um, I think it probably needs some general maintenance and a light switch on the outside of the thing so you don't have to reach in through spider webs to turn it on. Let's go over here and see if uh, the overflow is... Oh yes! Ha <laughs> Oh yes! So this is obviously a hole they knocked in here so that it wouldn't overflow out the top. Look at this sort of muddy river that goes down through here. I could have a pond, a big pond, maybe right there because that's kind of indented. You see it's kind of already indented. Of course it depends on if there's rock there. But I could have a water feature right here. You know? I mean, there's so much potential. Oh, look how pretty that looks over there. Oh, it looks like the birds found my bird seed. Okay, let's head back up to the porch and have a discussion. All these roots are exposed. Obviously they're seeking water or there isn't that much soil between under there and they've got to go on top of rock. Clearly I need to call a tree service. The problem is the inspector already told me that 
there isn't enough slope down from the house so moisture can get under the foundation. I think it's like a 6% downgrade around the house. Uh, so if I build this whole area up with wood chips and dirt or just wood chips, whatever, then it's even higher. And evidently, just because you're directing the water off the roof, uh, there's still water going down beside the house and you need that to go away from the foundation. Oh, the sun's coming out, wow. But I could probably start with just a couple of uh, big truckloads of wood chips just around these maple trees to give them a little bit of nutrition and to absorb some of that water, help it to soak in and not just be one muddy mess. If you've watched my channel for a long time, you know that I, <laughs> I have to go after the challenges and try to solve them. And I am just so grateful that I actually landed here in the winter so I can investigate what the sun is doing in the deepest part of the winter and that way I won't plan to put a greenhouse somewhere where there's not any light or raised beds uh, but I've had some suggestions about building a terrace down here and that way I can somewhat level the uh, raised beds although I don't know how raised beds are going to look in the front of the house and I do have to think about how it looks so uh, it would be nice to have a big garden in the back but you see the problems with the drainage so I guess I'm going to have to get a landscape company over here and help me sort out the drainage in the back and a tree service over here to to dump um, loads literally truckloads of wood chips on top of these tree roots um, where the grass don't grow. <laughs> Currently the rainwater in the cistern is not being used. It's just spilling over and rolling down the side of the yard. So I want to be as sustainable as I can here. If the grid goes down, I want to have water. And I've got water, I've got a water building. <laughs> I don't know how many gallons are in there because of the hole in the wall spilling it over. So I need to find out more about it. I would love to talk to the man or woman who originally set that up. If it's going to keep raining through the winter, I'm not going to worry too much about watering whatever's over there. I've got some bushes and some trees and strawberries and blackberry vines from the previous owner and I need to keep those alive obviously but it's not dry and it's not hot so hopefully I can figure it out before then but if you have any suggestions about this situation I'd love to hear them in a comment below because I need your help. I'm a first time homesteader and I want to do things the right way. Also, I don't have a storm shelter or root cellar and I was thinking that's a really big building and I could maybe take half of it which is already you know stuck into the side of the hill and turn it into a root cellar and a storm cellar but I don't think side by side you got all that water I, I don't think that would work you know I'm assuming the floor is concrete and that might seep and I remember on uh, you know Doug and Stacy's channel when they were having some some moisture in their root cellar underneath their educational complex so I don't want problems like that <laughs> but you know getting a backhoe up here and well, you you'd need a stick of dynamite <laughs> to blow a hole deep enough to put in a 
storm shelter root cellar. Look at the degraded situation I've got going here. This has to be remedied. Any and all suggestions are welcome. Thanks so much for watching this channel, liking my videos, and especially sharing them with your friends. I'm Kay, I'm a late bloomer, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And well, you'd, you'd need a stick of dynamite <laughs> to, get a, to get a bomb shelter put in here. If you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.